Wesley is designing a water storage standpipe for the town of Sally, South Carolina. The town's maintenance manager wants to maintain a minimum system pressure of 35 pounds per square inch and not exceeding a maximum system pressure of 65 PSI. Assuming a system loss of 7 PSI and a 12 foot tank diameter, the usable storage volume is most nearly A. 15,000 B. 30,000 C. 45,000 or D. 60,000. Pause the video and give yourself 5 minutes to solve the problem. Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you got the correct answer. Today we will talk about water pressure and head. The pressure that water at rest exerts is called hydrostatic pressure. The following important principles always apply for it. Pressure depends only on the height of water above the point in question. Pressure increases in direct proportion to the depth. Pressure in a continuous volume of water is the same at all points that are at the same depth and pressure at any point in the water acts in all directions at the same magnitude. It is often convenient to express pressure in terms of the height of a column of water in meters or feet instead of in terms of pounds per square inch. Pressure head, as it is called, is the actual or equivalent height of water above the point in question. A conversion that you can use is that 2.31 PSI is exerted by one foot of water in standard conditions. This constant comes from the following. A square foot of area equals 144 square inches, and a cubic foot of ambient temperature water weighs 62.4 pounds. So if you pour one pound of water in a container occupying one square inch of floor space, that water would be 2.31 feet high. So we have a 12 foot diameter tank, and to find the volume of this tank in gallons, we need to determine the tank's height. We have the minimum and maximum system pressure requirements, and we know how much feet of head it takes to achieve those specific pressures of the tank. We are not interested in the total elevation of the tank, so the system's pressure loss will not be a factor for us in solving this problem. We only want the tank's height, so we can take the difference of the system pressure minimum and maximum, which equals 30 pounds per square inch, and multiply this by the factor of 2.31 feet per PSI and get the height of the tank, which equals 69.3 feet. Now that we have the tank's height along with the diameter, we can solve for the volume of the tank and we get approximately 7,838 cubic feet. Using the water conversion of 7.48 gallons per cubic foot, we can multiply this by the tank's volume and we get 58,625 gallons, which is closest to D. Join us for episode 27 of 52 PE exam problems in 52 weeks.